हेलो वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स आई एम यर एस एस टी टीचर वंदना जोशी एंड यू आर वॉचिंग एस एस टी टू सो स्टूडेंट्स इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव स्टडी द पार्ट वन ऑफ चैप्टर फाइव चैप्टर नेम वीमेन चेंज द वर्ल्ड सो स्टूडेंट इन दैट वी हैव सीन मैनी स्टोरीज अबाउट द वीमेंस विच वर टेलिंग अस अबाउट द वीमेंस डिस्क्रिमिनेशन एंड द पास टाइम एंड वट आर द चेंजेस विच आर गोइंग ऑन इन अवर कंट्री इन द कंटेम्प्रेरी टाइम ओके सो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ लेट सी विच टॉपिक फर्स्ट वी विल स्टडी टूडे सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द स्कूलिंग एंड एजुकेशन टूडे विच इज प्रोवाइडेड टू द गर्ल चाइल्ड so let's start so students if we talk about the schooling and the education in the current time it is a little bit improved if we will see in many places in the schools now the girl childs are getting much opportunities if we will compare it in the past yani ki jo girl child hain ab unko zyada opportunities milne lagi hai so students one more thing is there that is uh, still the improvement is needed in the condition of the women as well as the girl child why because students uh, in every 10 year our government is doing a census in which uh, they are counting the population uh, uh, in few uh, manners like uh, uh, gender wise age wise educational uh, and according to they are schooling they are earning process and the different different aspects yani ki jo government hai wo every 10 year mein population counting karti hai jisse hum hindi mein janganna bolte hain okay so what the government is doing in that uh, the government is counting the population even the government is count when the government is counting population they are uh, filling the data of the gender uh, the uh, education the earning the status and everything the government is filling in that data yani ki us data mein sabhi cheeze fill kiye jate hain so if we will see the data of every 10 years the data is uh, providing us the information that still the condition of women in the educational field means in schooling and educational field field it is still very less so let's see how it is very less so students if we check about the data which is providing us the information of the literacy rate the data is telling the differences between the education which is provided to the girls and boys so if you will open the page number 62 in your book here is the data which is telling us about the annual average dropout rate in school it is uh, of 2014 and 15 so students if you will see in this data the data is providing us the information that in primary level means class 1 to 5 uh, how many boys girls uh, have left with the schools when they dropped out the school the boys percentage was 4.36 and girls percentage was 3.8 okay and uh, if we will compare the sc boys and the st boys so you can see here the differences and uh, if we will see the data in the class 6 to 8 the boys are less than the girls agar aap primary mein dekhte hain upper primary mein class 6 to 8 the the dropout data of the boys it is less than the girls okay and here in the secondary class the dropout data is 17.21 and here the girls data is 16.80 but beta it is a data of 2014 and 15 but if we will talk about the scenario of the uh, past time the data which was provided by the government uh, it was saying some other stories like the dropouts those were the dropouts from the schools from primary secondary or the senior secondary level they were mostly girls why because they were not having opportunity to do studies that time okay as you have seen in the story of uh, rukaiya shekhawat or uh, rama bai stories they were not getting any kind of opportunities to do study yani ki unko koi bhi opportunity nahi milti thi so isliye ladke kya karti thi agar kisi ladki ko school bheja bhi jata tha to bahut jaldi usko school se 
निकलवा भी दिया जाता था and students if you will see in that territa the mostly drop out girls uh, from all girls these all are belonging from the sc and st categories students as we know that uh, in our society there is one more kind of discrimination which is known as the caste wise discrimination so students already the girls are discriminated by gender wise and even in that uh, chart if you will see the girls are discriminated through their caste as well यानी कि जो गर्ल्स हैं वो जेंडर वाइज डिस्क्रिमिनेटेड तो हैं ही बट वो कास्ट वाइज भी इसमें डिस्क्रिमिनेटेड शो हो रही हैं ओके सो द गर्ल्स आर नॉट गेटिंग इक्वल अपॉर्चुनिटी टू डू स्टडीज इवन स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू विल आस टू योर पेरेंट्स स्पेशली टू योर ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स यू विल फाइंड आउट दैट योर ग्रैंड मदर इज नॉट सो मच एजुकेटेड due to the opportunities which has been given to your grandparents okay it is not a uh, scenario of only the scs or sts or any other caste this is the scene of each and every caste the girls are discriminated in the area of education yani ki sirf caste wise hi girls ko discriminate nahi kiya jata hai balki जेंडर वाइज डिस्क्रिमिनेशन की वजह से भी जो गर्ल्स हैं उनको प्रॉपर एजुकेशन इन अवर पास दे वर नॉट गेटिंग अ प्रॉपर एजुकेशन एंड इन द अदर हैंड इफ वी सी द डिस्क्रिमिनेशन कास्ट वाइज इट हैज आल्सो गिवन इन योर बुक इन द सेम डेटा एंड वन मोर डेटा इज इन योर बुक इफ यू विल सी इट इज इन पेज नंबर सिक्सटी स्टूडेंट्स इट इज हेयर यू कैन सी बार डाइग्राम इज देयर इन विच यू कैन सी the uh, percentage of uh, uh, drop out of schools uh, so those the um, this is the data of the boys the all boys those are leaving their school from uh, the boys category they are only 4.36% but if we will compare it caste wise this is total st boys those are leaving their school that percentage is 7.02 out of 10 Okay, so students, what it is showing? It is showing a kind of discrimination which is uh, set up by our society. यानी कि जो हमारी society है उसमें कई तरीके के discrimination पाए जाते हैं which are not allowing to few caste or few uh, religion or in the few. So students, here we can say there are uh, few stereotypes which वर सेट अप बाय अवर एंसियन टाइम यानी कि हमारे जो पुराने टाइम था उसी समय से कुछ ऐसी रूढ़ी विवादिताएँ डिसाइड कर दी गई विच आर डिस्क्रिमिनेटिंग टू द पीपल इन द कैटेगरी ऑफ जेंडर इन द कैटेगरी ऑफ रिलीजन इन द कैटेगरी ऑफ रेशल एंड द क्रीड एवर इवन वी कैन से द कास्ट वाइज सो बेसिकली दो हजार रिलेटेड फ्रॉम द डिफरेंट जेंडर लाइक फीमेल जेंडर okay uh, the females were not getting opportunities if we will compare them uh, as the men one okay so uh, the gender discrimination secondly the caste discrimination those were belonging from the uh, different categories or you can say the uh, dalit categories and those were belonging from the sts or st scs they were not getting any kind of opportunity to uh, overcome from their condition ओके okay, तो वो उनको किसी भी तरीके की अपॉर्चुनिटीज नहीं मिलती थी सो गवर्नमेंट हैज डिसाइडेड टू गिव देम अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड टू इम्प्रूव देयर कंडीशन द गवर्नमेंट हैज स्टार्टेड टू गिव द ऑल दोज वर द डिस्क्रिमिनेटेड टू देम गवर्नमेंट हैज डिसाइडेड टू गिव अ काइंड ऑफ प्रिजर्वेशन ओके यानी कि गवर्नमेंट ने उनकी इम्प्रूवमेंट के लिए बहुत सारा uh, काम किया जिसमें कि गवर्नमेंट ने एक चीज स्टार्ट करी दैट इज नोन रिजर्वेशन और आरक्षण ओके okay? so students now uh, our main more topic is uh, we were talking about the women education so what were the reforms were what were the movements which were started by the women to improve their condition aise kaun se reforms aaye aise kaun se movement women ne kiye ya fir unke favor mein aur logo ne kiye which improved the condition of women in our country to dekhte hain students what were the movements and the reforms which improve our condition 
in the past. So students, women done many kind of struggle to improve their condition. Uh, the struggle which was done by the women uh, to improve their condition that was known as the women's movement. Students, if you have remembered that I have drawn which picture here? That is of Betty Bachao, Betty Pada. Yes. So, why this picture, why the slogan has been given by the government? As we all know that women are not getting the right to education. They were not getting any kind of opportunity to study. Even they were not having right to uh, get birth as a girl child. Yani ki ladkiyo ko to uh, as a girl child born hone ka adhikar bhi nahi milta. And if in case there is a girl child, she is not getting any kind of opportunity to do study. Okay, so to improve this type of condition, the women raise their voice and the voice become known as the movement. Yani ki jo bhi chatari ki ki rapni anyay ke khilaaf ladies ne awaj uthai, that is known as the women's movement. Even they rose their voice against the violation, the domestic violation, against the violation which was occurred due to the dowry system. So, aisi bhoat saari cheeze thi, jinke against women's ne apni awaj uthai. If you will go in history, there was a uh, thing that is known as Sati Pratha. To remove that Sati Pratha, firstly, Raja Ram Mohan Rai stopped uh, he has done so uh, many work against that uh, to remove the Sati Pratha. Okay. And then after that, uh, uh, one more thing was there which was known as the Vido Remarriage Act. To improve the condition of widows. Because the widows ki condition thi, wo bahut bodi thi. So to improve their condition, one act was came, Vido Remarriage Act. Then after that, uh, the condition <coughs> little bit changed in um, future. Then after that, what happened? The women were getting to uh, do studies in their homes or to outside uh, in which you have studied about Pandita Ramabai's story and uh, Rukhaya Shikhawat's story. So, in this way, there were many things that the women's slowly changed and and still they are in a continuous progress. So, uh, what are the movements? Let's see what are the movements which were uh, done for the improvement or uh, they which have done to do a women empowerment so students if you will see in your book page number uh, page number is students 64 and 65 here a uh, few things are there like campaigning raising awareness protesting and showing solidarity so, uh, what are these things which are the movement started by the women? Let's see. The campaigns to fight discrimination and violence against women are an important part of the women's movement. Yani ki, jo bhi movement campaigning start women's ki dwara ki gai, especially wo uh, violence ke against thi. Because uh, students, as I told you, the women are discriminated by our society as a weak person of the society yani ki kamzor log hain so always those are having the powers they are violating uh, and uh, they are using the violence against the um, poor or the weaker people so here also the women were always facing the violence unko hamesha violence face karna padta tha so uh, law was made in 2006 to give women who face physical and mental violence within their homes Okay. Again, in 1997, students, the court, Supreme Court, is formulated uh, formulated a guideline uh, to protect women against sexual harassment at the workplace and within the educational institution. Yani ki sexual harassment se bachne bachane ke liye government ne kuch guidelines 1997 mein start kari even if you will talk about in 1980s there is also uh, things which are known as the dowry deaths yani ki dahej ke wajah se uh, mahilaon ki hatya kar di jati thi unhi ke family members okay uh, 
so uh, the government has decided to start a new law which is about the dowry system and for that government has also banned the dowry system in over the country so students to raise a kind of awareness among the people women are using many kind of things like the uh, if you can see in your book there are some street plays like nukkar nataks some songs some public meetings are there and for the protesting if you will say uh, the women's movement raise its voice when violation against women take place for example when a law or policy acts against their interest yani ki kabhi bhi jo laws aur policies uh, against hue women's ke to women's ne apni jo voice thi wo uthai apni awaaz uthai aur unke liye government ne naye rules form ki and if you will see in the showing solidarity the women's movement is also about showing solidarity with other women and causes yani ki jab bhi jahan par pe bhi uh, if the uh, thing is came on to the women's respect the women's are always raising their voice again the kind different kind of the discrimination and the violence even it is related to the dowry for the education whatever the things are there which are discriminating to the women's from the society against them the women's are raising their voice and now they are getting a proper right which has been provided to them from our government yani ki ab women's ko apne liye ladai ladna aa chuka hai and now they are fighting back against the violation and they are getting their right okay students hope you understood so students hope you understood the movements which i have discussed to you through few pictures you understood it so students here this chapter is complete uh, hope you understood the chapter so students in our next video we will study history chapter 5 in which we will see the architectures and art which were uh, started in our medieval time so for that keep watching sst june